Hello friends. Welcome to something new, something different. It's another time for experimentation and play. Hope you enjoy. A little bit of a warning though. I have no idea what I'm doing. Whenever you are trying something new, it's always good to start fresh and clean. So try to clean my drawing surface. And then to protect that beautiful surface, I put paper on it because I'm responsible. And what has happened is a huge blunder. Oops. In that, for some reason, I had some catastrophic failure with audio and video recording. Yeah. And so the first hour of video is actually just gone, as well as all the audio, except for maybe two minutes, which doesn't make any sense in relation to everything that it doesn't have. So what you're seeing here is the only video of the first day of painting from blank canvas to this. And it might be safe to say that you're not really missing much. So let's continue on with day 1.5, which will start in... To say I'm disappointed is a bit of an understatement. The good news is, like everything in life, it's it's all a work in progress. Um, we're still where we're at. Um, and we have a long way to go. So let's get started. I already have a lot of paint on here. I feel like this one is maybe the biggest mess right now. I just wonder what we can stick on it. You know, it's very dark, so we do need... Some just need to light it up. It doesn't take much to start making a human face. That's pareidolia for you. A face or a penis. Just putting that out there. Sorry. When you're in the process of painting abstractions or just from your mind, just trying to let everything flow and take you wherever it goes. What do you think? What is this stuff gonna end up looking like? Does it matter? I don't know if it does. 
it's hard to see where something could end up. But now, watching this back, you know, I can see a real argument just to go in and paint some sort of portrait on top of all this, just an outline, so all the marks show through behind it, but, you know, it could be a creature, it could be a Frankenstein's monster, or vampire, or, but then you're assigning a lot of context to this thing that's really abstract. Which maybe is the point, maybe not. I think what I really am aiming to accomplish with these is just creating a sense of depth. And as I go, what I've learned so far in this paint, I'm using acrylic, by the way. This is all acrylic paint and some oil pastel sticks. But the, uh, what I talked about in the video that was lost was the paint that I'm using is all this leftover paint. Um, from some projects my wife was doing a while ago. She was experimenting with pouring and she had a lot of fun doing it and then she stopped. I don't, I'm not sure why. I, I was threatening to clear out the garage so she could make a giant mess in there, but maybe that's what did it. Save everything. Including the scrap. something might come in handy, so you end up keeping it forever. Maybe this is the place for it, maybe it's not. We'll see. so old but what it started out with was these I mean 99 cent tubes of paint that you can get at the hobby store like Michael's craft store and you can really see the argument for better materials you know there's there's always the use whatever materials you have and, and create something. But there are definitely something to, to be said. There's definitely something to be said when it comes to good quality paints. Because I have some, some decent paint, not the most expensive paints, but I have some decent paints. And they work so much better than, than these uh, 99 cent crafty tubes. But these 99 cent crafty tubes got me to this spot where there's just a lot of 
thickness and texture on the canvas. So I mean, they're definitely good for something. I just doubt when this process is all over that uh, there'll Maybe be any of it left. Maybe it'll be a color. Maybe it'll just be an end of being a texture. Maybe it'll lead to something else. This is scrap paper I used for another project. Just straight lines. Don't have much use for straight lines. But yeah, I. The first 45 minutes of this is all mostly gone. Heard some of it, saw some of it, but it's like, try to make my life a little easier and try something that I haven't tried before, testing out some, a new way of doing stuff. And it, it all just goes away. The audio, it kept recording, but there was just, there was actually nothing there. The time continued, like there was a waveform and then it just went flat line as I talked. And then right in the middle, it came back. Uh, we'll see how much of it makes it into the final edit. Probably doesn't really make sense. In at all, so. But that's, uh, at the end of the day, that's what this process is all about. It's kind of neat. I like the circles. So these four canvases along with, um, I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, 13, 14, 15. I have, yeah, I have, it looks like roughly 20 canvases that have nothing on them or a wash of color or globs of paint. Um, and these canvases are all, you know, the, the again, all this stuff came from those bargain packs that you can buy at uh, the craft. The crafty craft store. You know you're doing a good job when they're hanging six on the table. And they've never been thrown away, and here they all are. And you know, I might as well take out some sort of creative hostility. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to think it's that violent, but that's the first word that came to my mind, and that's that's kind of the thing that I'm trying to work with. Um, Let's see if that actually sticks. Trying to accomplish is getting into the flow state where I don't care about what I'm doing. So, um, but yeah, you know, I have all these canvases in the basement and I, I asked my wife, are we going to throw these away or what are we going to do with all this stuff? And she said, well, I should use them. And I said, well, okay, I will. And, you know, my videos here, I mean, I guess there's some watercolor. Mostly, yeah, it's, uh, if you look at my water, my videos, they're all watercolor mostly just because there were 30 done 
during Inktober, which Chancetober, which doesn't make sense because it's supposed to be an inking month, but it's there's a lot of color. So I was setting up all these canvases, wondering what I'm supposed to do, and then um, a huge shout out to my YouTube friend. <laughs> I think that's what we're calling each other, our YouTube friends. Um, Glenn Art stuff. If you haven't seen his his videos, they're great, and. I feel like he can definitely fill time with his voice a little easier than I can fill mine. So maybe check him out. Um, and I feel like we're both kind of the same YouTube trajectory, trajectory, I guess. I don't know. We're both, you know, I was like, I'm getting these canvases. I'm going to start painting. And then suddenly he's painting on these canvases. I'm like, well, that's that's a coincidence or I don't know maybe I saw that and I'm like I, he's painting I should be painting but I've also just seen so many videos you just go online and you, you there are all these painting videos and painting tutorials and it's like oh come come watch this come watch me paint and in five minutes, they have a completed painting, and, and they're always amazing. And that's definitely not what I've come to expect when I paint. And I thought about just putting up, I mean, I could take this, and uh, I could take this video that's just about an hour and I could I could easily just put a nice you know speed time dilation on it and it could only be five minutes ten minutes but maybe it's time to slow down a little bit and I mean there's there's plenty of there's plenty of time for time lapse and and honestly I, I kind of thought this would be less work but as it turns out with all the audio and camera issues I had the editing and everything is uh, definitely made it a challenge and it's it's hard to watch yourself work for an, an hour and talk about it especially when you're watching it's like oh that I'm, I'm being very precious with this with these globs of paint and I have no idea what it is and Maybe if I put this piece right here like that. I don't know. I don't know what uh, the answer is. I think one of the reasons I'm slow, or is it methodical, or... I mean, one is lack of experience, clearly. But uh, also, maybe my job as a stop motion animator you you can spend an hour on a single frame now a single frame is about is about it is a, about 1 25th of a second but you know if it doesn't look right you're gonna know and so you definitely want it to look right <laughs> so that's you know this this is a chance to loosen up and be less precious and maybe moving forward I, I am just less precious with how this stuff goes down you know try to be very cavalier when I when I started I keep referencing this this video content that's just gone but honest it was there I swear I mean, I don't know. If you've lasted this long, it's you're almost we're twenty minutes in. What do you think? Do you think I should? Uh... What else have I got? 
embrace this format and just let it rip and let let time roll on at a realistic rate or is this uh Is this worse than watching paint dry? This pauses me waiting for you to answer. I, I, I can't hear you though, so maybe if you leave a comment below, I'll, I'll definitely respond because there are only four of you that'll tops that'll Still say anything. Sort of cheap paints. Maybe they'll even make it this far. But maybe this, you know, I'll just keep talking and this will roll on and you'll be working or drawing. You know, I tend to put on long videos when I'm painting or drawing. Which makes me think I'll, I'll you know, this whole uh, talking to you while I'm painting. Um, I think I talk about it in this video and I'll, I'll let that roll when we get there, but it's, I gotta say, I think it's kind of for the birds. Like you, you, you want to create just to be in the zone and just do your own thing and not really worry about what it is you're doing. But with a microphone rolling next to you, or I feel like there's a real need to justify your existence to Anyways, I mean, you've got a video camera, you've got a camera going and you, and you want to justify your existence to that. Like, why, why are you watching this? I got to, I got to, I got to entertain you somehow. And then with this other device recording audio, you just feel like you've got to be talking. And I'm not, I don't know if you've noticed, but I am not prone to the, the, the verbiage. This, uh, hobby that I've picked up of drawing and painting and putting it online and talking about it is if I had if I was this verbose in college a bajillion years ago probably would have served my art career a little better I was always that guy in the in the back of the class that dreaded talking yeah, and that's the one thing in art school that you learn or don't learn and realize later is like those students of you, those students that, that can talk, they don't even really have to make sense, but if they're expressing themselves it can get them quite far. I always had that kind of that I've always had that kind of difficulty. You want the work to speak for itself, but at the end of the day, I think a lot of people want stuff explained to them. Which is, you know, it can be pretty lazy. Heater just kicked on. It is very cold here in the basement. <laughs> the basement studio. But what do you think? I don't know if I even need to just, do I need to justify my? I'm gonna say no, I don't need, why, why do I need to, I don't, See, this is, and I get into trouble, and then I'm here, and I'm I'm stuck, and I've I've been rambling, and I'm like I should cut this out, but it's good just to let it roll too. You know, this is this is my experience. This is my project. This is my free time. And. 
and you're here experiencing that rambling with me. So enjoy. Art doesn't really happen in a vacuum. Probably the closest it happens in a vacuum is my basement or your basement or your art shed or um, the studio of the unknown artist, the kitchen table of the unknown artist. We all have our outside influences and Maybe we learned a thing or two in a class. There's still this tree here. It hasn't gone away. But then it's released out into the world, and, and now you know it away. pings it's back, and, and the vacuum that you're in gets a few holes punched into it, and it starts deflating like a balloon. So. So I guess let me know what you think. I've been rambling for a while. Let's let's, let's see if I have anything to say in, at 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 this moment in time. Back back to the past me painting. Not good. with the
Well, that was the perfect handout and handoff and that was the perfect handoff and nothing happened. And the sun appears. I, I mean, it's a sun. It's clearly a sun. And I spend a, quite a bit of time on it. And again, it's one of those things where something literal, something, something is starting to show up that looks like something else like a frame of reference and now I just really I don't know I feel like I really just need to get rid of it but I, I do spend quite a bit of time on it um, what I probably need to do is build myself a thinking stick that might help although As a human, we have thinking sticks already built in, and mine's telling me that has to go, but it's still there right now, so soon. A, if you don't know what a thinking stick is, um, um, I learned about the thinking stick from, from David Lynch, and it's a stick with a cotton cotton thread and a metal i think it has a metal kind of lure and he has a whole there's a whole system of you point the stick at something and then you're holding like the metal piece of metal that is attached to the natural wood with the natural thread and it, it functions as a communication facilitator between your heart and your mind and chances are if you're using your thinking stick you you already know the answer but it's a fun device I, I like the idea of it I think it's Amusing, amusing. Amusing is such a nice fluffy word, especially when you're thinking of David Lynch. But we'll see. These pictures these paintings are something, something to dest destroy and rebuild and destroy and rebuild. And we'll see. Ah, there's the Payne's Gray coming in right there. I might talk about the pain's gray. Let's see. Let's see if I have anything to say now. I always feel kind of weird working straight out of the two, but again, these are pieces are far from over, so eventually there'll be something over it. And, you know, might get to some additional color sooner than later. I need to start scraping this away soon because. This gray was just a little, a little too ashy. I didn't want to go in with straight black. So This is uh, Payne's Gray.
maybe I, I don't know, should I be talking this whole time? One of the bummers was um, with losing all this audio yesterday, I was actually talking about, it's kind of silly to be talking while I'm doing this because art, with me and making art, drawing and painting and um, animating is you get into the zone where you uh, called the zone where you, you're just in your own head and you're not thinking about anything else except the painting and well I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're listening. It's hard to be in that state when I'm talking to you. So maybe in future videos I won't be talking as much because it's hard to, it's hard to Sometimes it is hard to walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. It's really interesting how you're getting these soft transitions, softer gradients up here. There's still this scraped energy down there. And I don't know if it's if this will help. In the future, or the next time I shoot, I guess the next time I shoot video, painting video, these four paintings, um, which will probably be the video after next, because I think I, I already have, I'm not even sure what day I'm on, just because of these mistakes in recording. But um, watching this back, that painting on the like first off good job me painting off camera but also i mean if you look at that can that that painting on the on the right there that looks like a face that looks i mean i'm i'm sort of impressed 
looking at that little sliver of an image, but that's definitely not there. <laughs> that's definitely a trick of the eye, but I that's really like cool. it. I'm not even sure which canvas. I'd have to go and look and see if I can find it. And I wonder if I could pull that out. I don't think so. That's gone. It was never really there to begin with, but it's it's definitely not there now. Enjoying how there are little bits of each piece that uh, really nothing is standing together as a whole quite yet. Maybe this one is just because of the way it's really just two pieces. But uh, I feel like each painting is just segments. There's, there's no, and that's that's by design. There's no real uh, composition that's holding it all together. Let's try that again. Over here. Maybe more of an art, like again, I'm this paint right out of the tube. It's a little basic, I would guess you, but I mean, again, I'm, I'm really kind of curious to see how much time will be spent on these. I feel like a lot, because nothing is where I wouldn't call anything even close to finished. There are some interesting spots all over it, but None of it's done. None of it's close to done. This is all experimenting, and I know there are other things that I definitely would like to do. Which will help bring in some composition to something. Not too careful, that will become a permanent part of the canvas. But it's just paint, so we'll just peel right off. Just trying to build some pressure, some tension. But uh, moving forward, you know, it was good to have all four canvas out. I should probably have had them laid out in a block, like all four together instead of in a line like this, where you can only really see two and a half. Um, but. It might be almost in a place right now where I will have them lined up and I'll work on one and then pull that one out and put the other one, another one in and just have that force cycling through. It'll probably end up being a lot like uh, magical cups. Eventually you won't have any idea which one I'm working on. I should have marked the backs. That would have been really interesting to see which was which when I'm finished. Because honestly, I don't think there'll be anything recognizable from these, these images, these videos to the what will end up being seen at the end. something. Oh, 
gloves and gloves. Little dab it. You don't want to move the. Try and stencil it. Don't want to move it too much. something. how big that was. Well, it's really nice making a bit of a shadow. Too thin. That's kind of texture. Maybe that's uh, that's kind of neat. It's creating a thin layer. Yeah, then we work right over here too. This is really dull, and this is turning dull too. That's nice. Maybe it's just a matter of brightening that up. It's nice right here. I feel like this is going to be the problem child. Whatever this is, just... Again, a lot of these paints are just lying around from other projects.
So it's a lot of inexpensive materials. Maybe that's that's part of the reason I think I'm doing this is to like purge this stuff. There's so much stuff that we don't use. these little uh, I think these are junior artist grade student quality oil pastel this I've had this for had this box since Just after I graduated college, it was a gift. <laughs> but that's another story. Well, you've done it. You've made it to the end of the video. Part one. Of this, whatever this painting exercise will, will be. As I said, uh, there are, there are a lot of canvases that have been wrapped up in plastic here that yeah, if I don't paint on them they'll just be thrown away so I guess I'll paint on them um, but like I've said there's there are some interesting things here keep going maybe I'll get faster maybe I'll get better maybe I'll find some sort of direction that I like although I'm having fun so I'm going to be saying that a lot in these videos. I'm having fun. That's why I'm doing it. Um, me making art is not a job yet. So maybe it never will be. I'm lucky enough that that'll be okay. Um, but yeah. If you have any suggestions or, or tips... The next video might not be quite as long as this. Um, I think I need a break. And you guys could use a vacation after this as well. And yeah, have fun. I find that most people don't know anything, so you can only trust yourself when you're deciding on how to have fun, if this makes any sense. But uh, yeah, enjoy it. You know, there's, there's, we only get one go around from what I've heard. So we make the most of what we got and I uh, enjoyed talking to you. Leave any comments if, if you have any questions. Um, if there's anything you want to talk about, that would be 
Awesome. And that might be it. I might have some other things to say. The past me might have something to say. And uh, we'll let him close it out. This feels like a pretty good spot to stop, maybe. It's been about an, we've been working on this stuff about an hour. Um, have some interesting things. Don't want to overdo it too much. Let it dry. What's that? Let it ruminate. That's something happening here. There's like a sort of vortex looking out or I don't know. Tree is starting to fade, so that's good. I need to work on that a little bit more. But there's something happening. That's the good news. And I'm having fun, so I'm not going to stop. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, maybe this will be some sort of weird series. We'll see. That's starting to look interesting. That's starting to look interesting. Okay, friends. I feel like I need to work on some sort of... I'll see you soon. Take care. Be safe. And uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. All right? All right. Bye.